sit. Let's get a few facts straight. You three say a mysterious man warned you to get out of this house. Uh-huh. He left the room only to return later. Uh-huh. But this time he had a knife sticking from his back. Uh-huh. And there was a young woman in here. Uh-huh. Alice. You mean the gingerbread lady, don't you? No, Alice. Maybe it was the woman with the axe. She didn't carry an axe. These girls are disturbed, Miss Delmar. <gasps> Look who's talking, the creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> she said her name was Alice. Sweet Alice Blue Lagoon. <laughs> I mean, Blue Lagoon. You expect me to believe that? As soon as Sweet Alice Blue Lagoon left and the mysterious man came back, that hillbilly threatened to shoot us with her rifle. Oh, I see. What it boils down to is simple enough. You three saw a mysterious man murder, were threatened by a hillbilly with a rifle, and carried on a conversation with a person calling herself Sweet Alice Blue Goon. Uh-huh. They've been meeting a different class of creepy crawly than I have. <laughs> Dr. Gorilla is going to like any of this. Do step in, Mrs. Nightfall. The doctor is most insistent on peace and peace. <laughs> Lovely sound, isn't it? The road will wash out. It always does when there's a storm. The doctor does his first work when there is a storm. Doctor? What doctor? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, girls. It's Dr. Gorilla. He's a master criminal, and he likes to torment his enemies with an ape. An ape? A gorilla ape. Gorilla ape! <laughs> the enemies didn't like it much. The doctor found it amusing. Yeah, I bet it was a scream. <laughs> no sign of heckle. The law is never around me once. Let's add up the list. So far, we have one murdered mysterious man, one hillbilly with a rifle, and one somebody called Sweet Alice Blue Goon. Sweet Alice Blue Goon? You say you saw a woman walking around with an axe and some loony who thinks she's the gingerbread lady from a children's story, right? Right. Some list. You forgot the two-headed man. Ah, yes. <laughs> and one two-headed man. We wouldn't want to leave him out. Do you have to count him twice? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Nightfall, what have you to say about all of this? It would have been better if none of you had came. I agree. However, the point is we are here and we're being victimized. Chester, if you are still trying to trick me into going back to California, I think it's a despicable way of going about it. I'm innocent. Look, cross my heart. Hope to die. Don't say that. Someone might be listening. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Honest. Then what you have to say is on the level. Would I have come all this way if all I wanted to do was head back to home? If they're telling the truth, what have you to say, Grace? Uh, he knows nothing about anything. Let him speak for himself. Yeah. What have you got to say, Graves? I know nothing about anything. You mean to say you know nothing about these people who apparently walk in and out? I do not, nor do I. All these girls have too much imagination. Then why is this house equipped with secret passages? And trap doors, and tunnels, and graves? I see no need to explain anything. Anything. If Dr. Gorilla wishes his house to be designed with secret passages and tunnels and trap doors and implying graves in myself, that's his business. I am not going to stand around and be murdered. Then why don't you get into your car and leave? If you hurry, you can avoid the storm. We have work to do. Uh, graves does have a point. It's probably at the end of his tail. He reminds me of the devil. No, I mean, let's get in the car and get out of here. A room in your car for all of us? I don't have a car. A farmer gave me a lift to the house. I flew in. Don't say that. Make me think of vampires. I drove. Wonderful! You saved us! What are we waiting for? Um, a girl. It's a midget Austin. Seats two. Chester, you check out 
outside. Yes? Patsy, you go back up that way. By myself? You girls go down that corridor. What? There are three of you, so you shouldn't have any problems. What if we meet the dead man? Get a social security number. I'll check the front of the house. The first one that sees anything, scream and run back in here. I don't want to go alone. All right, then. You can go with Chester. But remember, the first one that sees anything, scream and run fast. Everybody going. Ghost hunting. Where have you been? Down the road. What's this about ghost hunting? They're all seeing things. Two-headed men, people with rifles, someone called Sweet Alice Blue Goon. Crazy. That's putting it mildly. The DePayne said they saw a dead man. Where? In here. Where did they put the corpse? There isn't any corpse. Tell me something. Are you rich? What an odd question. <laughs> but then this is an odd place. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am very well off, thanks to Uncle Ebenezer. If anything happens to you, who gets your money? I don't have any relatives now except for Patsy. Wait a minute. You're not suggesting that Patsy has anything to do with this foolishness. Maybe your cousin and that Chester are in it together. <coughs> Who's that? It sounded like a pain. I mean a deep pain. One of the sisters. You stay here. I'll take my chances with you. Smart girl. He's gone. What do you think of this insane story? He better not be trying to trick us. That's all I can say. We have, we have to get them out of this house. The truck will be here soon. Our intruders will have a surprise coming. Nothing must go wrong. Nothing will. You can cut on it. I think they want you to stay. Yeah, but who? Who are you? Permit me to introduce. 
introduce myself. For I am Dr. Gorilla. And I'm taking you in. And I'm getting out of here. You said it. I've got you covered, Gorilla. Freeze. <laughs> in any of this. It's possible. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who? What? Where? No, I mean, I thought of something. Yeah? The mysterious man the DePayne sister saw? What about him? Uncle Ebenezer died very quickly, and he was buried the same way. Yes. No. <laughs> I mean, it was all so hurried. What if Uncle Ebenezer was really dead? What if he had to get me here because he was in some kind of strange trouble? In this house? Is there any other kind? Uncle Ebenezer could be the mysterious man. Gosh. Maybe he's afraid of Dr. Gorilla. Golly. They're probably at each other's throats. Wow. <laughs> Would you stop with the childish comments? If your uncle wanted you here, why didn't he just send you a postcard or a letter? His mind never worked that way. He never did the obvious. I hope his hobbies don't run in the family. Hey, you, come back here. I want to talk to you. Where are you going? Who are you yelling at? Who are you yelling at? You mean Dr. Gorilla? Of course I mean Dr. Gorilla. Got away. What? He ran through the house. I chased him, but lost him in a maze of secret passageways. Something terrible is going to happen. I can feel it. And poor Patsy, where is she? You've got to trust me. I know what I'm doing here. I'll find her. I'll find them all. I'm not going to lose Dr. Gorilla after all this waiting. You can help me. What do you want me to do? I want you to go upstairs and lock yourself in your room. Don't open the door for anyone, understand? If someone's out to get me, I want to know who and why. You can be a big help by doing what I told you. Upstairs and lock the door. I'll let anything happen to you. I hope Dr. Gorilla feels the same way. Hurry. Anything you say, Constable. Name's Roy. Remember? I haven't forgotten. <laughs> we saw it with our own eyes. It had two heads. I'll have to see it to believe it. <laughs> this house is full of eye visitors. You mean the Depayne sisters? You know what I mean. Monsters, creatures of the night. Talk sense. Where's the doctor? Don't you know? He ran off. He could have gone too far. If I find him for you do. Ouch! <clears throat> oh, we have work to perform. Where have you 
been? Back there. Where? Well, when Dr. Gorilla showed up, I went wherever my feet took me. And they took me out of the fireplace. Only I discovered the back of the face. Behind the room, there's a bird. Do you have any idea what this is worth? Tell me. At least a few thousand. What? I know I expect to be in peace when I see one. Don't forget, I'm in the business. What happened to the gorilla man? Your guess is as good as mine. Aren't you going to capture him? Soon as I catch him. Listen, I really think you and your cousin and that Chester ought to get out of here. I'm worried for your safety. How can we go with the door? It'll be over soon. <laughs> Could you give us a ride? Wouldn't be easy with four on my motorcycle. If I had that much up, I'd retire. Wait till you see what else I found. Don't be foolish. No telling what's back there. Hold it! Right there! Old man Beasley always left the door open for any oddballs who wandered in. 
our guests frequently walk away, we have no lock. Nothing to worry about. They're harmless. You call a two-headed man harmless? What two-headed man? Besides, this is an old Beasley's house that belongs to Dr. Gorilla. I know a Dr. Golfar. He's a dentist. I know a Dr. Marilla. She's a dermatologist. Not Goldfarb, not Marilla. Gorilla. Gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Positive she's not one of ours? Hello, oh, y'all. Look at Sweet Alice Boogaloo. Naughty girl, Sweet Alice. You left the old plantation. I'm giving a fancy dress ball tonight, and you're all invited. That's nice, Sweet Alice, for yourself. Now, why don't you show us where everyone is hiding? Grandma Hatfield, Lizzie, and the rest. I'd be delighted to, sir. Follow me. Come on, Spider. We've got another look. Ooh, ooh. Find her. And when we find her, we'll finish her. No time to waste. 